Hi everybody, welcome. This is CES 2025, and this is the booth for HDMI Licensing Administrator. So we have our adopters here to have some great demonstrations and displays to like to show you. And the big news for us is that on January 6th, we announced the upcoming release of the HDMI Forum Specification 2.2. So I wanted to show you some of the feature highlights over here. So the big news about HDMI 2.2 coming up is that um, the next gen uh, HDMI fixed rate link or FRL technology is going to enable 96 gigabits of bandwidth and that is a lot. And what that does is it enables uh, a whole new range of options uh, that improves uh, the demand for uh, the data intensive immersive virtual applications and we show some of those here like AR, VR, MR, spatial reality, um, there's a lot of commercial applications like uh, large-scale digital signage, medical imagery and um, it's really interesting because as demand for larger screens is becoming larger and larger uh, really like movie producers, game producers, that they really need more options and the higher bandwidth enables them to really have a, a wider range of solutions they can create content for, whether it's movies, games, or other things. And you can see some of the possibilities here. Uh, you can actually have, and this explains that this is in combination with perhaps compression, uh, chroma subsampling, and you can get up to 4K 480, uh, all the way up to 12K 120, it even does uh, 16K. But the big news also is you can do uncompressed with full chroma, uh, AK60, and even 4K 240. And by full chroma, I mean there's no chroma subsampling, and you can do it at 10 bit and 12 bit. So it's an incredible That's, that's a great deal for filmmakers. Oh yeah, filmmakers right now, I, a lot of people don't know the major studios, they're already creating a lot of movies in AK. And they like to capture that additional data because even though they're downscaling to 4K for actual user distribution, they capture all that data up front and it just makes the image better. And then it's also building the AK library for use in the future. So this opens up a lot of possibilities. And uh, there's a couple other things. In order to support that, there's a new cable being introduced. And I can show you a little bit more about it because uh, we have some prototypes there. But this is the new cable. It's called the uh, Ultra 96 HDMI cable. It's part of the Ultra certification program. And so it has the same type of requirements where every single model of every length has to be uh, tested and certified at an HDMI forum authorized test center. And they're required to put the name on the cable and they're also required to get our anti-counterfeit label which goes on every package or unit of sale. This is even more big deal with the more bandwidth you get, you need to make sure it's good quality. Oh yeah, you need the higher bandwidth, of course, uh, the bigger the pipe, you need a, a better cable. And of course, you want to ensure it's performance, you want to make sure it's certified, so you have to look for that name and you have to look for that label. Now the specification, you know, we announced it that it's coming up. The specification itself is probably going to be released uh, later in, in, in the first half of this, of this year. And at that point, there's going to be uh, a compliance test specification for the cables and people can start buying the labels and start bringing cables to market. And some of the uh, exhibitors you hear have, have here at the booths, all of them maybe will be supporting. Well, pretty much if you're an HDMI adopter and you're manufacturing cables, uh, you're going to want to get the Ultra 96. In fact, take a look over here. We have some prototypes. Excuse me. Sorry, I just want to poke in here. So we actually have some prototypes, uh, prototype packaging and prototype cables. And you can see that maybe people might be marketing, uh, they're currently marketing for the ultra high-speed cables like 8K, if they want to market 16K, 10K, 12K, I think that's all to be determined in the future when the cables come out. It can totally do 16K with compression. Yeah, right? with, co with either combinations of compression or chroma subsampling, it's really up to the manufacturer of uh, the devices and how they want to how they want to deliver that. So there you are. You're introducing the ultra 96 cable. Uh, yeah, and
and it's part of the Ultra family, which also includes the current Ultra high speed cables. And those are up here. These have been out in the market for uh, about four years already. They're in wide use and available at retail. People are bundling them with uh, their devices, their game consoles, and, and set-top boxes. All right. And then I think you might be interested. Actually, this is something I'd like to point out. Um, HDMI gaming technology, which has been around for a few years and includes HDMI features such as auto low latency mode and variable refresh rate, uh, quick frame transport. It enables pretty much the most advanced gaming and it's a great bundle of features. This is a TV from LG and I think it's doing like 165 hertz refresh rate and it's a beautiful image. We also just for fun or display, displaying some of the retro gear that you get. These are like reissues. Does this support Ultra 96? No, this is, um, I'm not sure what this is supporting, but this is this is a retro reissue and it's HDMI out. Oh, nice. And it's, just, it's just for fun. That's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. We also have the Nintendo Switch and, and this is its dock because it also has HDMI out that you can now use your portable gaming device and connect directly to an HDMI enabled TV. It's amazing, the performance of Yeah, it's cool. And we also have here a Rogue that also has an HDMI dock and you can go and you can output directly to an a HDMI enabled TV. And it, it's fantastic quality. We're highlighting, of course, Xbox is a long time uh, HDMI adopter. Uh, for X, Xbox Series X, we have the PS5 over there. This is one of our adopters, Gigabyte. They have this awesome monitor right now that's 240 hertz. And this is their gaming laptop. And uh, so we're just demonstrating all the gaming features again, like auto low latency, auto low latency mode, variable refresh rate. Are there new gaming features optimized on a 2.2? Well, yeah, because you can go um, higher resolution, faster refresh rate. So it's it's probably going to be adopted by the, the uh, gaming guys first. It might be one of the uh, biggest sources of content for AK120 and uh, well, uh, AK240 well, of the even, gaming. Yeah, oh, it's perfect. And what we're doing now is these, these are our AK displays from Samsung. That's a 98 and that's an 85 inch. And although there's not a lot of AK content, the the application is for upscaling right now. So you can see this is the PS5 and it looks fantastic. We have a, a Ultra HD Blu-ray player we've been using. This is all going through uh, Avanco. This is an AK switcher and those have been on the market for a few years. But what's happening now, especially in the United States, is uh, people are going from like a typical large screen, which was new a few years ago, but they're going from like 55s all the way up to like the 98s and the 85s. It's, it's kind of like uh, the, the large screens are going through their second and third generation of replacement cycles. In fact, what you can do is tell because when people are buying like a large screen TV, like the extra large screens, they're not buying uh, TV mounts anymore. And that's because they just take their existing big screen off, they put the even bigger one on. So as these things are being re replaced, what consumers are understanding is, you know, it's time to consider an AK TV. The prices have come down, as long as they're gonna upgrade, why not take a look at an AK? Look what it does to the content. It's amazing for, for gaming and movies. Actually, the latest upscaling technology and with AI and stuff is really amazing. Yeah, What they using... can get the quality out of, even if the source is 4K, uh, it makes sense to upscale to AK. Maybe you can even go from a 4K 60 to an AK 120 by upscaling oh, magic. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is magic. And every time a new AK TV comes out, that that AI upscaling gets better and better. It's it's completely amazing. But people need to see it in a store. If they go to a consumer electronics store and they see the difference and how close they can get and the immersive experience, and uh, especially if it's something uh, normally like a TV that's HDMI enabled, that's new, uh, is gonna be featuring uh, enhanced audio return channel. So then you get that immersive sound as well. And it's my understanding, since I'm here about AK, that an optimal 
frame rate is kind of 120 at least for sports because then you get uh, no motion blur on the ball moving around and everything. Mm -hmm. So it's a big, I guess, a big demand for the industry to I upgrade think so. that. I think it's ready for upgrading. Uh, 120 is great for everything, but now, as you know, with 2.2 about to come out, you'll start seeing that in TVs, especially at the beginning of next year. The fact that you can go up to like 240 or whatever kind of combination of uh, uh, chroma subsampling or compression that people want to implement, you're going to see just it's going to be so quick and um, uh, it's going to be amazing what we're going to see. And we're anticipating that the gamers and the graphic cards are going to be the first group to be using it. And I'll be doing videos with the exhibitors at your booth. And here at your booth, you even have the first 2.2 uh, kind of like uh, implementation, right? Yeah, well, uh, in developing the 2.2 specification, it's a collaborative effort. There's about 85 companies in the HMI forum. And a lot of the companies are um, test equipment gear, because that's needed for certification. Here we have Teledyne LaCroix. I want to hand you off to them because he's got the first HMI 2.2 test gear. So I'll be doing a video interview with you just after, but uh, right there we see 96G, uh, first implementation already. Want to give this to All him? Right. Yeah, I'll do another video right now. Cool, thanks a lot.